Thanks, Tom, uh, for inviting us and our staff. Uh, we're the new version of today's, our uh, defensive staff. A uh, little bit about us. Uh, we're a Division three school. Uh, we got an 850 enrollment thereabouts each year. We're from the southeast part of the state. Uh, we compete in the Woodland Conference, which is actually a 14-team conference, uh, two divisions. So we are in the West Division. Um, our staff, as it's configured right now, has been together for about uh, four years. Um, Matt Kern, our head coach, has been our head coach for four years. Uh, last three seasons, uh, our regular uh, season record has been 24 and three. Uh, we've we've qualified for the playoffs uh, the last three years, and uh, we're fortunate enough to get to Madison. Uh, and we're beat by an outstanding Rice Lake team in the finals. Uh, and uh, we had a good group of kids, so uh, we got a good thing going uh, at our program. Uh, again, my name is Sean Crowley. I'm the defensive coordinator. I've been at Eisenhower since 2003. Uh, I coach the linebackers. Uh, Jeff Kaswalski, who's our tech guy over here. Jeff and I share the linebacker job. Uh, work, or working with the linebackers. Uh, we work together, or uh, he'll do the outside. Sometimes I'll do the inside linebackers. Uh, John Kaswalski is here. John, uh, his father. John's a, a longtime coach in the uh, southeast part of the state. Uh, he uh, partners with our head coach, Matt Kern, in uh, working with our defensive line. Uh, Jeff and John both coach the uh, JV defense also for us. Uh, Chris Lidwin is our defensive backs coach, and uh, Chris is also our special teams uh, coordinator for varsity and, uh, and JV, so he, he's in charge of both of those areas. That's kind of who we are. Um, go ahead, coach. Uh, what we're going to start with, we're going to do this in three, it's, it's a drill-based presentation. So uh, Coach John's going to start out with uh, some D-line drills. Thanks, Coach. Morning, fellas. Uh, just looking at our philosophy, we look at this as, as a possibility for everybody. All the line coaches work together. That means myself, Coach Kern, and our two offensive line coaches work together so we have four sets of eyes working with our kids. And uh, as you can see, be accountable, do your job, you got to pursue correctly. If you don't pursue correctly, all this other stuff that we're talking about is out the window. You've got to be able to do this. Gang tackle, rip the ball, and we stress physicality. Okay, all of our drills are done with shields. Make sure if you're going to have them, buy some shields that have the straps on them. And we'll show that in one of our drills here as we go along, okay? I believe in a lot of ideas with our hands. If you're a defensive coach, you better be using your hands. Everybody I talk to, you got to be using your hands. Yes, you got to. And you got to be quick. We were talking last night on the way up here, just comparing our last three teams, how much quicker we have been in the last two years because of the drills that we've done and how we're putting it together. And that helps with having four sets of eyes because we can correct those kids right now. Is if I'm running a drill and I don't see someone in the back, there's two, three other coaches standing around saying, move, buddy, you get me a come on. Okay, so the first one we're gonna get into is our run drill. And I'm not gonna read all this, you know, being a teacher for a lot of years, I'm not gonna get into that. But the big thing is the hand quickness, okay? We start paired up with each other, so now we're gonna show you the tape, okay? And sorry, Rice Lake, I just used you as an example because you guys had a great set of linemen, man. Those kids were good. Holy cow, our kids had a great time playing against them. Here's the drill. What we do is we start off with hand reaction, okay? I will set a letter, so we use the letter R. And the kid's going to do the letter R, palms out, nice stance, and he's going to repeat it. And we come back 30 seconds, and we rotate. We do this as a pre-practice. We want the kids' hands to be quick. You're playing defense and your hands aren't quick, you're not going anywhere, okay? So that's the drill that we will perform. We'll get two, three, four, five guys in line. Everybody will have a shield and we'll just switch. And we'll go through the drill in that process. Again, be prepared to correct the kids where their hands are, okay? Remember, your hands want to be here, you want your palms not out here, but you want your thumbs up so your elbows stay into your body. Okay, we have some big defensive linemen. They go like this, guess what's happening? Our offensive guys are getting their hands in there and driving them out. So keep your thumbs and index fingers up 
that keeps those elbows inside. Okay, so that's the first one. You can do that at any time. That's a great warm-up drill. You can have the kids do it at home in mom's pillows and stuff. They love that. But once we get the season started, we do our hand quickness drills, and I have a number of different ones that I do all the time. Okay. Next. Okay, the next one is a defensive man attacking the wrist of the offensive man. Now, I picked this up a few years ago. Coach Kern mentioned at the end of two seasons ago that we needed a better pass rush. So I was out on the board trying to find places <laughs> to do things that we could make our pass rush better. Okay? So I thought the only way that we could do that is talk to people. And we're all here together. We cheat, we steal, we take from everybody else, right? Well, hopefully this one will take with you. This is a good one. Okay? We start in a good football stance. And what we promote here is that if I'm a pass block and I'm, I'm setting up, my hands come up here, right? Okay? If my hands come up here, I want to find those wrists right now. So as I come out of my stance, I'm looking for those wrists. My elbows are in. I'm trapping the wrist. If I can get those wrists, I've beaten those big linemen. Because most schools that we play now, the defensive tackles are the big fat guys. And then as soon as they open up, they're in trouble. Now, if I got the wrist trap, now we can get a pass rush off of them. So that's what we work on. So we'll trap that, they'll come out of our stance, boom, we'll just trap. So what we have the guy do is come down just like he's pass blocking. His hands are going to be up here, right? That's where they're going to be. That's where we want to trap him. So we want to come from the ground up to his wrist and find him. Okay, so that's the first part that we do. Okay, the second part, yeah. okay. If you're going to be an offensive lineman like Rice Lake and they come out and they attack your legs and so on and so forth, where are their arms going to be, coach? They're down here, right? They're coming off the ball. So how do you trap that? Wrist down. You take your thumb and you plant it right on that wrist and you take them down. And now you can work with them. Okay? So if he goes down, I go down with them. I can trap. Now I can get my run through, as I call it, to get to the backfield. So those two drills help us to do what we need to do. We can pass rush and we can run, run block. We can take care of both at the same time. And again, very simple. You can do this for 30 seconds time. You can do the same thing. You know, you can vary it however you want to do it, depending on the amount of kids you have, the size of squad you have, and so on and so forth. So that's how we get that done. That's a shield. That's the next one up. But the wrist should be planted, OK? Thumbs. Down and they're running, thumbs up when they're pass blocking. And if there's any questions, feel free to stop me and we'll, we'll go from there. Okay, next drill is called the shield and hand placement drill. And the reason I use this is these are the cheapest things that you can get that will help you. You have your kids grab the bottom, you use the straps. What a better aiming point for your linemen is are these straps right here. If you can get their hands on there, you can control most of the people. Okay, so that's what we work with. And we're going to work with a demonstration where we had our kids film these, so uh, it's a lot easier for us to explain. So let's see the drill. Okay, he's going to come out of his stance. Okay, he's going to find the handles. He's going to take two steps, boom, boom, okay, and then we're going to stop him. Okay? And what you do then is you make sure that your arms are locked out, your base is down here, your eyes are ahead, and you just walk two steps. That's all we want to do first of all. Introductory drill. Okay? How do you know that? You do both sides. Oh yeah. And the best thing is if you got, you know, four, five, six shields, line them all up, and you can watch them with four coaches, boys, that nice. <laughs> boom, 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 right down the line. You can watch each kid and you can correct. So if I'm correcting here, the other coaches can still be working with the kids over here. So we stress that as an important part, that helping each other out. And then just a part of that, for the offensive side, I will go over and do the tight ends and help with the tackles and offensive people. So it, it helps. It really helps to rotate around. But this is a great drill for positioning. You know, um, I remember many, many years ago, we had an old one-man sled at one of the schools I worked at, and they had the old frame on it, 
and it would, kids used to grab that iron and run that old one-man sled. Well, that, you know, those are days past. Kids don't like doing kind of stuff like that. So the shields are, are the best, okay? And then finally, our progression is very simple. We now put it all together, okay? So we use our quick hands. We use grabbing the wrist. We do our power step, okay? And then we throw. I call throwing out the trash, okay? So as I step in and I take my two power steps, I'm going to pull those straps, take them to my hip pocket, and throw them away and then rip under, either way. And the purpose is to turn his shoulder so I can get in the backfield and locate the football. So as I come out, I lock on, one, two, power step, pull, turn, rip under. So that's how we put everything together. And again, it seems to be very feasible. It's very usable. It doesn't take a lot of time. The kids understand it. And as you can see here, our, our two eighth grade kids, no, I'm just kidding. These are our seniors. <laughs> uh, these are the kids that, you know, we worked with this already. I'll show it again one more time, Jeff. Okay, notice his hands. That kid's off balance now. And the bigger that guy is, you get him standing back here. Now I take my two power sets. Boy, I turned him, and I'm past you right now. That helps quarterback. But that also helps us run. And then what we'll do later on in the year is we'll add a running back. So as we step, rip, and now he'll take off. We'll come over make the trap, make the tackle that way. Okay. So what we do then is we put it all together. Those are the four drills that we do to progress. So we have included hands, we have included pass, we have included run, and then you can add a tackle at the end. And you have all four of those in a very short period of time. Now the nice thing is that we get a chance to practice, okay, Tuesday, Wednesday, we'll flip. We each have a side about an hour on each side where we get that going and we rotate and we get a lot of stuff done. You know, what do we have last year, uh, 70 some kids coach? Yeah. You know, I had about 18, 20, 25, 24 linemen. So we just kept rotating the kids through, we just kept working them. The sophomores do the same as the varsity. We start to get the freshmen orientated and so on and so forth. So basically, that's my progression to get them started. This is early season. This is when I get them started right away. And then we can progress to our other drills and so on and so forth. So that's my part of our defense. And again, we've exceeded. You saw some of the totals that we have. Um, we're well on our way. Hopefully there's something there that you can get, anything that you need to ask or anything we can get to. But those are the four that I progress with. And it's starting, and it fits at the end to everybody.